Okay, hello and welcome back to Making It With More Eyes. <laughs> do I really, can somebody else do the opening for me? Yeah. Now, do you know what they call those great big pepper mills in France? Ruby Roses. Those wow. big long pepper mills in France. I mean, you know, the great big ones that go into your arm? Ruby Roses. Why? Hello and welcome back to Making It With More Eyes. As we've been doing throughout the season, we are going to follow the recipes of the book A Feast of uh, Ice and Fire, which is the companion cookbook for the, the series um, Game of Thrones. And as always, I will have Dr. Barry to join me. Hello. I have four recipes that I picked for today. And the first one is the stewed rabbit. Rabbit? Rabbit. The rabbit, and the rabbit must be from the, from the, the wall, the yeah. cas from Castle Black. When I was in one of the many foster homes I was in growing up, a true story, um, they served rabbit and I wouldn't eat it. Why? I was, because it was just horrible to eat a little cuddly rabbit. Did you didn't eat it? No, didn't eat it. Why? Because it was a little cute cuddly rabbit at one time. I didn't want to yeah. Oh, yeah, he doesn't help to accelerate the process, but uh, what ends up happening is that the process is actually delayed by his presence. I've always said I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. If I had to like slaughter the animals that I eat, I would be a vegetarian. 16th century stewed rabbit. Serves four people, prep time is 15 minutes, cooking time two hours and 45 minutes. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Anyway. Okay, let's go. Give me instruction, please. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay, unsalted butter. One medium onion minced. A medium onion, unsalted butter. One whole rabbit. Two slices of bread, preferably stale. What do we do, what? I'm just reading the recipe. Oh, okay. One fourth of a, tea of a teaspoon ground ginger. One eighth of a teaspoon of mace. A pinch of cloves. Mace, is that, isn't that the stuff that you like have for bear spray? No. Salt to taste, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, half a cup of carrots, which you have to go harvest again. Oh, that'll be a treat. Now, and I've told the people privately that, you know, you are a good cook, you're not a chef. You keep looking at my hat. Do you want to do something with it? You can't take your eyes off my hat. Half a cup of cabbage, finely chopped, and one cup of ale. Ready? Yes. Thank you. Minced. Who? Minced. And you know, all they, they did all those nuclear test things over there, out there in the Nevada uh -huh. deserts. So that's why I'm doing my hat like this. Uh. In the spirit of, of the previous nuclear testing, or nuclear testing as some would say. You want to, it's a minced onion. Yes. Okay, why don't we get all the ingredients out first? I, just as a suggestion. Okay. Is that too much to... But go ahead. Do you want me... I hear... No, 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 leave it No, like I can. That. I can use the reflection in the lens. And one fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Ground ginger? No, Fred, not fresh. No, ground. You want ground ginger. So this is what we're trying to do, people. We're trying to demonstrate you have to get everything out, too. We don't just have it all piled there and measured out like all... Oh, excuse me. I'll get it. Don't worry. Well, how many people does it take to get the ground ginger out of the spice rack? 
There's three ground gingers in here. The, the one that one's already been opened, yeah, thank you. Them. Oh, have we talked about that I like the packaging of this McCormick? Yeah, yeah we have. Why is the fruit here? Get it out, get it out. And this, and this. I mean, look at this. Every single show we have the same problem with this crap sitting everywhere. I don't have any problem. Red uh, wine, wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Please. Oh, here we go. I actually don't mind coming to the pantry. Now look at this. Now. Look, look it up here, look. Now, do you think this is a Splenda house or what? Now I have to tell you something. Uh, I know people say things about me being like a little heavy because I stress eat. In one cup of ale, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I got ideas. But if it wasn't for Splenda, I would be as big as Chris Christie, seriously. So I suggest you get Splenda. Now we're not featuring Splenda on any of our- Red vinegar. Oh, uh, red vinegar, yeah. We'll, we'll come back to this. Red vinegar. So I decide that since we have it planted. Here we are. Okay. How much do you need? One tablespoon. So why don't we do uh, the following? I just thought that it would be a waste to buy one carrot. Mm. Oh, I need my glove. But I don't attach that filthy Yeah, you gotta dirt. get your gloves. You look okay, don't worry. Well, I had to make sure those collar stays were in right. Let's go, for, let's go harvest. Go harvest. Thank you. Do you have your little dig digger? Do you have your digger? Yeah, they have the bigger digger. Where? Where's the digger? Over here, don't worry. Better just to go out here and walk through the yard. It's safer, in fact, to walk through the yard than it is to go on the porch. I mean, you take your life in your hands trying to get out of this house. Now, what is this? This is uh, the thing you make basil. Basil, basil yes. For tomato basil. Oh, look at that big hole. For the other carrot. Really? Uh-huh. You have a big carrot. Yeah, but I didn't realize it was so big. You are. What is this stool that's here? That's fertilizer. Oh, look at how, how if you, oh, look, a little, a little carrot. <laughs> Perfect for the Game of Thrones, Exactly. Right? I am becoming an expert on. I know it. Look, can we have someone over here, please? We, we need this angle right here. See, I can see the carrot already. As it were. Yeah, there's the carrot. I mean, does, is, how do they mass produce these? For, I mean, you're, talk about cost benefit analysis. Yes. It, it's just like, you're, this is a losing game. Oh, I think they probably grow uh, carrots like in sand or something because it, well, they, they must grow them in something they other than this. Either, than, either to pull the whole carrot without breaking it. Because if, if you plant it on dirt like I did, and I'm just finding that out, it's um, very hard to pull them without breaking them. And, you know, who is going to buy a broken carrot? No one. No one's going to buy a broken carrot. <gasps> oh, look. There, Ooh, it's like, it's, it's, is that three of them or is it a, a mutated one? It's three of them. <gasps> Look at that. And I think that's enough for the... For the well, let's, yeah, we'll save the rest for later. Mm -hmm, for the next recipe. <laughs> Is that your, all you're carrying? Well, I don't know what you expect out of me. The flowers you've done beautifully. I know. You should do I? a flower show. Maybe, huh? Next time. Here. I'll, I'll squirt. You rinse. Well, what I thought was going to happen was that we were going to have an actuality cooking show where nothing is done in advance, nothing is advance prepared. The only thing that happened was that we brought everything in from the grocery store into the house. My God. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to scrub the carrots because of make sure all the dirt is off. But the idea was that all the steps involved in making this particular dish, except for the grocery store acquisition of the ingredients. Okay, so I guess I should be mincing the onion, shouldn't I? Yeah. Unless you want to do something else. No, I should. Well, maybe just... you can mince some extra onions? Yes, I will. That's a great idea. It's some of it's sickening sweet, though. It's just some of it's fake sweet. It, it's, it's a pretense sweet. It's that whole, I'm from another country, so I'm superior sweet. Ooh, there we go. 
and I know I obsess about this, but I just, you, you, you have to have a non cutting your hand glove. This, this chain mail glove is just, I, I love this thing. Oh, they're all like that? Well, I was there and they weren't all sickening sweet to me. In fact, what I saw mostly was everyone urinating all over the public buildings. Means. Do you want me to do it? Now, maybe I've mentioned that before, but that was my take home. Several times. Uh-huh, well, it was several times they peed all over everything. Well, I'm supposed to be the helper, right? Yeah, but... And then they would go to the edge of where the water would break at the, at the ocean on Ipanema Beach, of all places. Have you heard of Ipanema Beach? You know... You make such drama. I just don't like for my fingers to smell like onions. Right, the girl from Ipanema, or the boy, whatever you want to call. The girl. Well, there's another song, Boy from Ipanema. There is. I've heard it. Well, the boys on Ipanema Beach go to where the water's breaking and just like pull their shorts up and pee right there. Four tablespoons of butter. Heat two tablespoons of the butter in a pan and fry the minced onion. See, right then I would have cut my fingers, I would have cut the dickens out of them right then. So I don't know. What, what were we talking about? Something about how much sugar there is? In... Sugar. Yeah. Right then, I'm telling you. I just prevented slicing my fingers to pieces. Oh, how nice. I can see you care. It's very, very clear. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way here? You know, I wonder what would happen if I took two knives. A mess. I saw that sense. in a cartoon. It kind of makes how, a mess, doesn't it? Is that how you learned? Where you learned? No, I learned it from Julia Child. Okay. You're already <laughs> crying. I know, but this will this will prevent any no more tears. There. I think it's cut now. Well, and you know these goggles really do work. The tears went away. Well, I think I'm going to start just like crying. your, like you know when she Donna Summer left her man and okay, or he left her or what? What are you doing now? Give it to me. Put the. Oh, I don't like here. that pan that you're using. It's okay. You don't need to like it because you are not using. It. Now look, people, you have to. You have to let the butter get. You have to let the butter foam. See, it's not foaming yet. Yeah, it is. Foam. So why do you insist on using that I little want tiny that, burner? I want this burner. It's, it's it, the burner's too small. The burner's too small. No, the, burner the burner is too small. not too small. It's already burning the see, burn, burn. Yeah, that's the, because you got the little tiny burner right there, and you got the wrong pan. People, please use the correct pan. I have the correct everything. Do you want this in there? Yeah. Thank you. And then we can just... He's so difficult. And he gets this way. He's, you know, very temperamental, difficult to please, never willing to take anybody's advice for anything. So can you tell me what, you, what do I do next there? I of think... course. Fry the minced onion, transfer it to a pot large enough to accommodate the bones from the rabbit. Do the one. Ah. That's not big enough. Yeah, See, look, this is what you do this all the time. It you is big enough. It's too small of a container and then it bubbles over and it makes a mess. That's not big enough. I'm going to go on record right now. It's going to be a problem. You'll see. It's not going to be a problem. There. So now it says to transfer. Okay, I need you to open that rabbit. Okay, you know how I feel about the rabbit anyway. And now you're going to have to make me manhandle it. Given everything that goes on during the show, which happened in, in normal kitchens, when you are cooking with your, whoever you have, your mom, your dad, your children, Dr. Barry. So sometimes it can get a little, you know, messy, complex. I've already told you my story about how traumatized I was as a child. And yet you you insist on me having to deal with it still. You I'm not to... doing it. Okay. You know, I, I, and I've said this before, but I'm a hypocrite. If I had to like go and, and prepare all these meats and slaughter them, I would be a vegetarian. You're not going to do the rabbit? No, you'll have to, un you'll have to, you'll have to do Then that. take I'll out stir. this. I'm not going to get involved. Take out that glove off. Okay, I will do the rabbit. Oh, there is more onions here, huh? But you don't use all of them. That's okay. 
I'm not complaining. I'm exhausted. Oh, the, the rabbit? <laughs> so we have here a whole rabbit and cut the usable meat from the rabbit and lay it aside, leaving the legs whole. This needs some more butter. No, it's two tablespoons. You have to follow the recipe, that's all. I am. Do we have any candy? So you're sure you want to use this pan that's too small? Ooh. Ew. Mm-hmm. See? I didn't want to get involved. That's why. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, hell no! That, it was just hideous. It was just gruesome. I know. It looked small. Ah! And, it looked small inside the, when you was in the package, but then you open. It's this huge thing. And the rabbit kind of, you know, compact in, ah. in a little bag like this big. And then when you remove it from the bag, it, grow, it grows like this long. And they're skinny, like the ones I see running on the backyard. All the rabbits are He's skinny. always wanting to feed them. No, this is ridiculous. He's always wanting to feed the wild rabbits here. Oh, because they look so skinny. They are, but that, there's a reason. It, you, you want them to be big and bloated and fat, and then the little, the, that filthy cat over here from that neighbor, it'll be over there hunting them because they can't run fast enough. You see? You're too enabling. That's the problem with kids today, too. Open. They're all enabled. Open the trash, please. It's like, oh, everyone's a winner. That's bull <laughs> Everyone's not a winner. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't like to deal with dead animals either, but... No, you can see he wanted me to do it, so there you go. I know, it's like, it reminded me of Schmeagel, when he started, like, just tearing into those rabbits and potatoes. So, but the poor rabbits, they are always so skinny. We have oh, some rabbits here in the back. I know, and I, there's no way I would be able to like kill the thing and then and then strip the skin off it and ugh. Yeah. And most of you wouldn't either, so don't start with me. But that, and start acting like, oh, oh, he's just a little sissy. Well, you go kill something and then strip it. I guess those of you that watch other shows like... You are the doctor. Yeah, but I usually deal with living people and, I, and, and we fix them, they don't end up like this. Although some do, actually. But we don't tell anyone. So we just kind of mm, mm, keep that quiet. That, it was just hideous, it was just gruesome. So what am I supposed to do? Can you read that for me? Since we are doing nothing. Yeah, I'm doing nothing. That's right, I just... Okay, so you're supposed to cut usable meat from the rabbit and lay it aside, leaving the legs whole. Cut the usable meat. Okay, I'll read it again. Cut the usable meat from the rabbit and lay it aside, leaving the legs whole. Break down the remaining bones and put them in a pot with the minced onion. Oh, this just, it's barbaric. Okay, how, we're gonna be here until New Year's with the rate you're going with this. They must have joints like chicken. Ah! What? What did you do? I didn't do anything yet. Hello. You are screaming. I guess because of the, the chicken doesn't jump. And the rabbit does, so the bone is, is stronger than the, and harder than the chicken bone, I think. So I don't know how to cut it. What is that big thing? How you do this? No. No, don't do that. It's just going to be, you're going to, all right, look, I, I knew, I just didn't want to get involved. That's for vegetables. That's not a meat cleaver. That's a vegetable cleaver. It looks like a horse without head. Oh, this is just awful. Oh. At least when I did this in, in anatomy class, the person had donated their body. So you know they at least, as some say, they chose to do it. Now give me those. Oh, now notice the scissors. Notice how they failed us. Look at this. Look, broke you see the scissors. They broke it. They're no good now. now. Why should I have to be doing this? This is just awful. And after I told you that story, all the trauma I went through as a kid, and now here we are again. You know, the Buddhists would say life comes full circle. In France, you know, the great big one, is it going to your arm? Ruby Roses. Why? Well, because that was that was the name of a Latin um, 
gold digger, essentially, who married Doris Duke. Oh, from the Duke because University? He, because apparently he was endowed like one of those pepper mills. And his really? name was Ruby Rosa. And the French adopted the name. And the French adopted the name, appropriately so, the Ruby Rosa. For the salt, for, for, the, for right, the pepper and, grinder. And why am I telling you this? You're splashing everywhere. You're making a mess. What about the other legs? I left them on there. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. I know, I'm exhausted from all this. We need a snack. Well, you're supposed to brown that. Are you going to do that? Yes. But okay. right here, look at this, people. I have, this is $700 of caviar right here you're looking at. Now, people say that I'm an elitist. And you are? Sterling caviar. We, this actually comes from um, some sturgeon fish that are down by Sacramento. Now, beluga is what I prefer, but that's illegal now. Apparently, there are places that will get it for you. Um, but in the spirit of caviar and Russian, we just happen to have some sitting around. And people say, I'm, I'm an elitist, but you know what we have to go with this? An anti-elitist beverage. I have a lovely Moscato di Asti. Like beer? No, Moscato di Asti. I have some Dom Perignon here in the pantry. There, he's back to the pantry. Dom Perignon. It's a lovely... Oh, it's a 2002. It's 10 years old. Which I don't mind if he goes to the pantry and just stays there. He messed up my, ra my rabbit recipe already. We are not following the recipe as we were supposed to. I got some Dom Perignon and I poured it for him. I poured him some. And he put, and you know what he put in it? That's okay, since he was traumatized by eating rabbit when he was a child, we are going to make it a little different so that it's done quicker. He put Splenda in his Dom Perignon. He did, I swear to God, he did. Splenda. Because he said it was just too dry. I mean, are you kidding me? But it's okay, we love him. Um, but we got the Moscato di Asti out, and he loves that. And this stuff is I love like it. ten dollars a bottle. No, seriously, that's all. It's like it's really cheap, and it actually goes good with the caviar. I was surprised, but it does. Organic coconut sugar. You know, anything with coconut, he buys it. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you could have the most vile thing and make coconut with it, and he'll eat it. I guess they do that down where he's from. Okay, let's get out of here. And um, the ground ginger. Are you doing okay? You, you don't need help, I guess. This has been a very difficult morning for yeah, me. Yeah, you have. No, seriously. The, the whole rabbit thing, as soon as you said it, I was worried. And it's still sitting here. You're supposed to brown that. But I'm not going to get involved. Really? Really, I'm not going to get involved. No, we just happen to have some boiled eggs, and look at this, in true Russian fashion, some blinis. I know, who made those blinis? Well, actually, himself made the blinis. I mean, you, if you're gonna have caviar and blinis, you have to have vodka to go with them. Let's get some crushed ice, shall we? By the way, caviar is not on the, ra on the, on the book here, but he decided to make a little snack. Which is okay, I'm agreeable too. Well, it's just a snack for us. I mean, we have to give something to the workers. I will do the carrots because the carrot, you know, part of the rest before the rabbit, but nobody did. I mean, are we, are we even gonna be able to finish this today? Well, you are the one doing something that is not on the schedule. I love carrots, mm. raw carrots. Mm. And I like Moscato de Aston much better than champagne. Champagne? I think Isn't he down in Haiti? I think Champagne is overrated. Well, well I think he goes, is too. Although I think he's a pretty about, good actor. I'm talking about Champagne. Yeah, I think that's what I'm talking about, Champagne. What? He was married to Madonna and they had that- He was not married to Madonna. They weren't married? Oh, they were just she up. lived, really, they were shacking up? They lived in sin all that time? All that time. Oh. I never knew. Well, now you know now because? Because you heard it on Marias. Exactly. That's not big enough. I'm going to go on record right now. It's going to be a problem. You'll see. It's not going to be a problem. Anyhow, I think I need, a, I think I need to transfer the rabbit to a bigger pot. Really? 
Really? Yeah, because you didn't cover, you didn't put enough water there. I suppose you need, you need help now with that, don't you? Just what's too mm -hmm. Mmm. Because we need to cover the rabbit. You didn't cover it. I'm transferring the dead rabbit. It's going to be a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, but a bigger pot, a bigger pot. And that's all because if we had cut the rabbit the way we were supposed to, if he was not, if he were not traumatized by, by the whole thing, then of course it's my fault. We'd be okay. We would be fit. He would fit on this pot. But because we didn't cut the rabbit they were supposed to because of his trauma, childhood trauma. Well. So now it doesn't fit. And you know what I would do? In order to do that, I, have, I need to get a much bigger Put pot. Put that in there too. Okay. And full of water, so it's going to take a little longer. And what, what about the celery and the, and the uh, you know, I don't think there's enough onion in there either. I would put another onion in. Well, now you change the whole recipe because... Okay, well, no, no, leave it alone, leave it. Because of your childhood trauma. The rabbit is uh, just about done. Don't get scared. It smells just like chicken. Oh, the meat is coming out of the bone. Look how tender! You strain out the bones, then onion, then reserve the broth. I told you, see, it's gonna spill everywhere. Ooh. Ah! Oh. Okay, in a separate bowl. This is all very one. just gruesome. Just don't look at it. You feel better soon. Yeah, I think I will. I think you're right. Just. I'm going to try to salvage the rabbit. So in a way, he, make it, he made it his, his uh, childhood trauma, made it easier to remove the meat from the bones. I'm going to separate the meat from the bone. Oh, you're eating the rabbit. Think about him jumping happily in the backyard. Mm. We were supposed, supposed to have made stewed rabbit, which we kind of did. The rabbit's ready. F the rabbit. It's delicious. Not as the recipe for gold, but but I felt so horrible about eating it. It reminded me of killing that poor little rabbit when I was 17 years old, driving down that, that snow-packed, slick road out there in the middle of nowhere, Michigan. How long ago did you kill that rabbit? Almost 40 years. Well, you should be over it by now. You see, he just so, discounts my feelings. No, I'm not discounting. No, yeah, no, no, there's just, not one scrap of validation, not one hint of reinforcement. You just completely discount my feelings. Anyhow, we finished the rabbit, so come back for more. Much more. Yes. See you later.